Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Wisdom Adam. So in this uh, video, this is the fifth part of the series of skin cancer detection and in this video we will be talking about the deployment architecture, what architecture will be following for actually deploying this uh, Flask web app which we have created in the last video, uh, the Flask web app I have showed you. So uh, that Flask web app, uh, now we have to deploy it on Azure. So in this we will discuss the architecture, the deployment architecture and what are the steps we need to follow while uh, deploying uh, the Flask based web app on Azure. <coughs> so, so let's start uh, today's video. So in this, uh, as you can see, this is the uh, architecture of our uh, Flask based web app which we will be deploying on Azure Cloud. So as you can see, uh, this is the full app where what we are doing is we are doing image pre-processing and we are loading our uh, machine uh, deep learning model, right? And this deep learning model actually we are loading from Azure Blob Storage. So why we are doing it? Because uh, the size of the any deep learning model is quite heavy, right? In MBs, maybe uh, 100 MB, 200 MB. In our case, it is not that much. It is around 30 MB because it is a mobile net model and it's quite lighter. But in case if you want to use some advanced model like a vision net or maybe uh, VGG, which, which which are generally quite heavier than mobile net. So in that case, uh, you can simply uh, keep your model in Azure Blob Storage. In that way, your app, the Flask web app, will be lighter. And uh, it will not give any issues while deploying it on uh, as a uh, as your app service. So, so what we are doing is uh, to keep our uh, uh, web app size smaller and lighter. We are uh, storing our uh, main model, our trained model in the Azure Cloud Storage. So let's start from the uh, uh, sketch. So what we are doing is uh, this is our input image. So we are uploading the image on our Flask web app using image uploader and then we are performing two operations one is image resizing and then image normalization why we are doing so because while training our model we have done that right we have resized our image into 224 plus 224 size and then we we have to normalize it by dividing the image pixels by 255 so that it will be normalized within 0 to 1 minutes, right? So uh, in that way, uh, uh, the model can accurately predict which uh, class this image belongs to. Uh, so this whole app will be uh, uh, in the form of Flask web app, right? And uh, after, uh, after uh, creating this Flask web app, what we have to do? We have to create one Docker file and then Dockerize it by creating the Docker image. and then we have to upload that Docker image in the Azure Container Registry. So some steps we need to follow. So after image pre-processing, we have to do inference. For inference, we need to have a model. So uh, in in our uh, previous video, what we were doing is we 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 are keeping our model in the root directory under uh, models folder within the Flask Flask web app, and we are loading our model from that folder. But in that case, uh, our Flask web app size will be uh, heavier because it is containing the model. So uh, in this architecture, what we will be doing, we are keeping the model on the Azure Blob storage. For that, we need to create one Azure, Azure storage account resource uh, and uh, keep the model file stored there. And uh, once the app is started, we need to load the model from the Azure Blob Storage, right? Uh, using uh, SaaS URI creation because you can only download it from any uh, Azure Blob Storage using Azure uh, SaaS URI. Right? You need to generate Azure SaaS URI. So for any uh, loading and uploading. So uh, in that case, uh, we need to load the model and uh, then our model will be uh, available once we load the app, once our app is started for the first time. And um, when we upload the image, we will do basic image reprocessing. Then for inference, our loaded model will be used for prediction 
So for prediction, uh, as I uh, as I have shown to you in the previous video, we'll be giving a table in which we'll be showing the probability or confidence range for all the three classes. So how confident the model is, whether it is melanoma, BCC, or nevus. So that will be one part of our prediction screen. The second part of our prediction screen is the grad cam heat map, which is which will be the model interpretation part. So uh, because whenever you are building any model for healthcare applications, so it is very necessary you should explain your model to the healthcare providers or the uh, medical specialists so that they can understand uh, in what actually our model see for uh, for saying that this uh, image belongs to melanoma. Right? What are the actual reason and what are the region in, within the image which is uh, contributing towards uh, particular class prediction. So that will really helpful uh, for building any healthcare app. So for that also we will be using our code and uh, that code we are uh, uh, keeping it in a separate file heatmap.py in our class code. So next we'll go to, so this is the architecture of our uh, Flask web app which we'll be uh, deploying it in SEO. Now comes the important deployment steps because uh, we need to keep in, uh, in our mind what steps we should be following while deploying any uh, image based or deep learning model in, the, in any cloud basically. So this is in this uh, series we will be using Azure cloud maybe in some other, other project we will be using Google cloud or AWS. But overall structure or architecture will remain same, only the services will change. Like here we are using drop container, there we there will be using Google, uh, Google Cloud uh, storage account. right? So only such services will be changed. So let's start. Uh, so first step is create Azure uh, storage account resource, uh, blob container. And for that, uh, you need to keep uh, the uh, your model in the blob container. Okay. Next, we need to create Azure Container Registry. Uh, why? Uh, why we need it? Because we, when we uh, Dockerize our Flask web app, we need to upload that Docker image in the Azure Azure uh, Container Registry. In that way, when we will uh, creating our app service, uh, we will directly create from the image which I stored in the Azure Container Registry. Third step is the if you don't have Azure CLI installed in your computer, so you need to install Azure CLI on your local machine, which will help in running basic Azure commands like Azure logging or Azure uh, for setting Azure username and all. Next is the uh, installation of Docker desktop so for this project it is necessary you should install docker desktop it is quite heavy but can't help you need to install it then uh, within our project folder we need to create one docker file that i will be showing in our next video where we'll be uh, we'll be showing each and every step live how we can deploy our flash web app in seo so there i will show you what is what will be the structure of docker file and we need to save it in our project folder, Flask Web App project folder, the root directory. Uh, after that, we need to run some Docker commands uh, for Dockerizing the app, and uh, for uh, and then we'll create the Docker image, and then we'll upload the Docker image on uh, Azure Container Registry. Now the next and the final step is we need to create the Azure App Service. And uh, how we can create it? We need to select our plan, right? Uh, which, uh, how much GB uh, RAM or how much storage space we require, okay, for creating Azure App Service. So uh, that I will show you in our next video. And in the end, uh, the main part is how you will be creating your App Service. So for uh, basically the code part, how you will be. Uh, selecting it or using it. So for that uh, we'll be using docker image from Azure, Azure container registry. So once you upload the docker image on Azure container registry it will be available uh, for selection by creating the Azure app service. So you need to select your uh, Azure docker image with the defined tag and version. And once you uh, select it you just need to click on uh, deploy. So in that case uh, it will take some amount of time and your app will be uh, perfect.
Okay. One important uh, change that we need to make within our app is uh, we were using a model in our models folder within the Flask web app. For, for that, we need to change the code and make the model available by downloading it from Azure Cloud Maintainer. So that change we need to do within our Flask app. So that I will show you in the next video what change we have done. And the whole code will be available to you. I will share the uh, code link in the, uh, in the video description so that you can download the code, uh, clone the repo and run the code as it is. And you can, you can also follow the same architecture and you can deploy your customized app on Azure, Azure Cloud. So that's it in this video. I, I hope you like uh, this video and uh, you may understand the basic architecture and the steps which you need to follow while deploying any uh, deep learning based web app on Azure. Thanks for watching our video. Let's meet in the next video while we will be deploying our app on Azure. Thanks.